Well, I don't think we should get too excited. Um, we've got a regional uh, rebellion going on. Uh, Russia has huge depths in terms of ideology and military resources to crush this rebellion if it chooses to do so. Uh, Prigozhin's only real hope is if he can encourage mutiny amongst most of the troops who are fighting in Ukraine uh, and amongst the political elite uh, in Moscow. Um, I've seen sort of uh, reports of various uh, Russian officials fleeing with their families to Turkey and other countries. If that proves true, uh, then the, uh, the regime is definitely on the slide. But we shouldn't kid ourselves. Any rebellion would get rid of Putin. I don't think uh, the regime of kleptocratic thuggery is going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. And of course, Prigozhin is the founder of the Wagner mercenary group. Um, so we're getting a bit overzealous. And the other side of it is, if someone did take over, so say, say Prigozhin was successful, what are his views? I mean, is, is he worse than, than Putin? Well, I think everybody's going to have a readjustment to, of views in Moscow if somebody else takes over. There's no question about that. Um, but the basic regime survival tactic uh, is to keep hold of power as long as you can. And Prigozhin will either see himself as a kingmaker or, or somebody who's going to enforce the will of the new uh, leader. Uh, and so part of this rebellion, I, I believe, is about uh, Prigozhin trying to distance himself and maybe his boss Putin from the failures uh, in uh, Ukraine. Uh, I think there's a real attempt to push the blame onto the military leadership uh, under Shoigu and Gerasimov. Um, and uh, knowing Russian politics as I do, uh, there may be a lot more going on under the surface than we think. Uh, on the surface, we think P Putin's uh, uh, in trouble, and he may well be, uh, but m this may also be an attempt to disassociate Putin from the war in Ukraine. Uh, you notice that he, uh, that uh, Prozhogin has not uh, actually criticised uh, Putin. He's saying they're evil counsellors that uh, are near him. This has shades of Russia throughout the centuries and indeed throughout uh, Britain's Middle Ages. It's always evil counsellors you criticise, not the monarch. But, but, I mean, since the war began, there's been, I mean, the tally of deaths is huge. If you look at just yeah. our, I mean, the US Defence Intel Intelligence Agency did a, did a tally and they said that Russia suffered in the region of 189,500 to 223,000 total casualties, and that includes uh, servicemen and uh, those who are wounded and things like that. Do you not think that perhaps there is an element of people getting tired of the death and destruction and that actually Prigozhin does have a very good chance of uh, swaying this and getting the forces to start uh, rethinking whether they want to carry on with this war? Well, well, I think all these things are in play at the moment. Uh, the, the fact of life is, Nana, we don't know. You know there's all sorts of disinformation, other stuff uh, flying all over the place. We don't know whether uh, Prigozhin is working for Putin against uh, his own military establishment um, and trying to oust them, uh, or indeed this is a major revolt against the, the whole system uh, and Prigozhin will pick up support, as you say, from those military units in Ukraine who frankly have had enough. Um, but I do suspect the rest of the Russian population still believe in Putin um, and uh, there will be immense sort of depth of support if he chooses to actually tap that. In all these situations, it's the person that loses their nerve first who actually loses the battle. Um, so we need to see who is going to lose their nerve. But significantly, we're seeing some regime people at the lower level, deputy minister level, they're fleeing the country at the moment. Mm. Uh, and that's quite significant to the truth. That hasn't happened uh, up until now. So mm -hmm. that, that itself. All I'm saying now is, you know, this is not a linear process. It's very complicated. There's all sorts of issues. Uh, there's disinformation and information. We need to hold judgment at the moment. I would say, I would say that the chances of Prigozhin being successful are low. Um, there's immense depth in Russia. Interesting. Interesting.